all right, I'm doing this video to really inform y'all that I'm gonna be falling back, you know. I'm gonna just let the the world play its course on the individuals in this world. You know, I get tired of the same old thing over and over again, you know. I don't even want to speak about it anymore because it's redundant. I'm talking about the conscious community. I'm talking about just metaphysical things. Have you noticed with black people, when the sun gets at its brightest, a.k.a. summertime, that's when beef start happening out of nowhere. People just get angry, angry with each other. You see it with hip-hop. But just imagine what it's doing to the ones day-to-day -day living for the average melanated being in this country. This is the time in which young black men throw their life away and make dumb decisions, commit crimes, get involved in things they had no idea, you know, what, what the consequences would be. Because the sun is beaming on them. It, you know, um, messes with their thinking, the humidity, the everything. It plays a part in it. And they just like, you know, we young, we out of school, and it's time to get some money. Or it's time to turn up or we got beef with these niggas from middle school or high school. We finna go slide on these niggas. We finna go terrorize. We finna go rob the liquor store. We finna go rob the ice cream. Man. Anything you can think. We finna break in our house. You feel me? We finna snatch his gold chain, his sneakers, all of that. We going in his pockets. Not thinking, you know? And result in something that will affect their life for years and years and years and years to come. Time away from their family. Baby brothers and baby sisters. Now growing up without him. Now it'll lead to them having the influence of that same street. When it's summertime, have them slowly but surely dwelling into the same things they were doing. When school is let out. You know, during school, it's like, yeah, you have your fights and shit, you feel me? You'll probably have your shootings, you know what I'm saying? Your things back and forth for niggas just doing things. But in the summer is when you take the real risks. That's when you take the real risk. I mean, I'm just speaking from what I've seen and, you know, growing up. Seen a lot of them. You know, a lot of your friends get killed in the summertime. Or what they did in the summertime results in them getting killed right after being out of summertime. Around fall. Around August and November. Now y'all can tell me if I'm lying or not. But there's a reason for that. There's a reason for that. Why do you think Bohemian Grove? I'm just going to tell y'all something, man. For the individuals that pay attention, in 2011, I paid attention to this when I first got word uh, from an individual that was a bartender, not a bartender, but like a waiter at Bohemian Grove. He had personally told me about it, so I went and did my research on it. And I found out that it was like, I think in July, I think two weeks in July, they celebrated. And what you notice about them two weeks is I wanted to see if it was true because, you know, you hear the president, vice president, your Democrats, liberals, and Republicans, alternate right, all of those individuals, all of these faces that you see on television, all go to Bohemian Grove and Santa Barbara, California. I think it's Santa Barbara. They go out there in front of Malak or Minerva, the Al, pay ritualistic, you know, offerings, burnt offerings, sacrifices of humans. Also, escorts two weeks of partying getting high drunk homosexual acts just living their best life you know and what you'll notice about the news media they'll divert so attention to something else for those two weeks other than the president's meeting you know he won't be anywhere they won't tell you his whereabouts for two weeks if you pay attention if you really pay attention they'll put distractions up there for you it always happens so I'm just putting this out there for y'all to pay attention to, you know. I don't really like doing videos on certain things because I understand that people automatically run back to my channel after I provide the information and they come back asking re redundant questions in my live streams of things in which I've already discussed. So really, 
from you being an original fan or original sub since college kid and you now after all of these videos over 300 400 videos you in this comment section asking me will the world end will the this and that are you serious that's because you need me to validate your fear you you know what I'm saying make your your fear non-existent basically is what you're saying make my fear of the world ending non-existent make my fear of society falling and things being at its worst state in history of the earth non-existent please say something please regurgitate what you've already said basically and that shit ticks me the fuck off that's one of the reasons why I stopped you know doing videos and putting them together it's it's redundant man y'all ask for videos about knowledge y'all don't even know bro y'all don't even know how i be feeling on this shit man what's the point man what's a, a few individuals understand you know a small percentage of, of individuals understand this you know but it takes bravery in the heart you know it takes bravery in the heart and the mind a lot of individuals sadly don't have that as we can see from our communities I don't even want to dwell into that no more, bro. I feel like I'm regurgitating shit once again, man. You know? This shit is crazy, man. If I really wanted to get in my real thought process, y'all motherfuckers would be shocked. You feel me? I don't even give a fuck about being here no more. You know? But. Gotta play the waiting game. Gotta play the waiting game. But what you can do is, you know take advantage of you having this breath of life and constantly doing research and understanding your reality around you and here's a point I wanted to make on my live stream but my live stream keeps you know cutting my words up so I'm gonna just say it here for an individual to not understand that let's say we take our technology that we have now let's say we take our whole home let's say it's a way we can possibly take our whole home to the dark ages and you know just have it in some field somewhere and we go out to the city and we bring them you know attract them to our house and be like look i'm gonna show you something and they see the home and they're surprised by the architecture and all of it because it's modern times so you just you know call at your garage door they tell them surround around your garage door and you just yell to your garage open and then it opens up, you know, the garage door opens up and goes back in. They would think that you're performing magic and witchcraft. They would honestly, without a shadow of a doubt in their mind, would believe that you're performing witchcraft and magic. Now, is that wrong? Shockingly, no. But I'm going to dwell into that. So, electricity, as somebody said, as above, so below, on my comment section, I mean, in the stream, not understanding that, you know, he said it on, on, like, you know, the firmament aspect of it, which is a pot, you know, it is, that is true, but there is inner lanes or inner workings between the physical world and the spiritual world, you know, so understanding that when entities appear, they suck all of the electricity around the area to, you know, um, become existent in front of you. So, you know, cameras get drained. That's why you don't really have rituals on film. Like, you know, real, where the entities appear, you never have that on film because they suck all of the energy around it, the electricity. They take all of it. Drain your battery dead. And another thing is that in those dark ages, they would think that you're working with magic, but in a, in, a, in a way, they are right. Because electricity is the same way that they gain energy, also through energy. We have that in our bodies as well. We have electricity in our bodies as well. So, scratching your, you know, um, scraping your legs on a carpet, like with your socks, and then touching a metal knob, you generate electricity neurons in your brain running around light particles your nerves electricity running through them crystals and microcrystalline in your pineal gland 
crystals like remote controls receive and send information. AC, DC current, sine and cosine, double helix. You feel me? It's a lot of things that exist within us that makes us complex. So understanding that that can be tapped into. The perception in which we see with our eyes to make these things in which we see as an illusion reality or a form of reality. No, call it a pseudo reality. It's really a projection. So, understanding that along with the entities who do the inner workings of making things manifest. I can get on here and tell a story that happened today. Not a story, but something that happened today. You know, that really tripped me out. But a lot of individuals will be shook running to their Bible and all of that. But understanding that alchemy, alchemy, A-L, chemi. Kimi is the work of Kemet, which is Egypt. Al is another word. A-L is another word for L, if you didn't know. I'm just putting it out there so y'all can research that for yourselves. A-L and E-L was L. So alchemy is really the work of the divine. So alchemist, just like chemistry. It's telling you about Kemet, the magicians down there, the workers of magic. Chemistry is basically science in a different way. So I can get on here and talk about how the elements of the earth can be manipulated to create certain things on earth. We see that. You can transform cells, right? You can transform things. I'm not going to get too deep on here. Look, man. I know I do a lot of dumbass hip hop videos, but that's just to keep me away from just dealing with individuals that don't know what the hell I'm talking about or have no idea how to even start researching it. You know, you're looking for me to be a spokesperson, but I'm just falling back, man. I'm just falling back. So I'd rather just fall back from doing videos, man. So with that being said, I'm gone, man. Like, comment, dislike, peace.